Because I'm not a bad person. You can't find a person in real life to say I'm a bad person. Can't do it. We Durka, 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 every time Merka Durka buys something nice for himself, he should be thinking, man, Wings is a good person. <laughs> now that part is true. <laughs> that was what he should be thinking. Well, I mean, that's definitely true. You know, every, I, every time you buy something, Taylor, you should be thinking Wings of Redemption is a good person. And if he didn't exist, I wouldn't be where I am today. So, that's what confused me so much about it when I when I read that. I think I saw it. Fuck Merka. <laughs> shit about Merka. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out if he's winning or all losing. All Merka did was sit there, come in and take all the money I deserve from PKA. That's all Merka Durka did. So fuck him. Fuck you, Merka. Fuck you, but Mer Merka. I don't know if <laughs> I tell you that often whatever. enough. <laughs> all his PKA shekels. <laughs> people are gonna be like, well, Merka spent just as much time yeah. as you on all the show. All my now. dollary dues. Yeah. That's because I was kicked off the show and he was given my spot right at the time they started making money on it. But oh, wait, we gave you wait, hold on, spot. hold on. <laughs> See? Hmm. Wings had been gone for quite some time when you came <laughs> along. Is that that's true, <laughs> isn't it? Doesn't add up. Merka didn't replace Wings. Merka replaced he Lefty. Didn't. No, he replaced Lefty. No one replaced Wings. That's Merka right. Uh, two roads over from me. My mother and his mother were still friends, so I was all over there, you know, once, twice a month on the weekends or two to three times a week. Yeah, we stayed. Uh, we stayed over a lot because um, my mother figured since there was two boys there that I'd have somebody to play with, you know, type shit. But we ended up being friends, me and Kenneth, more than me and Jordy because Jordy's kind of a fucking bully. All right, so uh, I do I do a lot of YouTube, and it came to my attention. Can you not take like a five minute break? No, because it it's gonna be more than five minutes. Okay, well then you at least need to get off and talk to me. <sighs> Alright, Wings, you gotta stop. Can you please stop? Will you please stop? Please stop. Whatever. He's like staring at Nice. Kid texting you for a tell unlimited UAV, what it uh? I don't think you're taking my doctor's appointment seriously enough. Who the hell is with the Wendy's? What do you mean? Like, I'm really scared about it. I don't even know what this muffler is. You haven't got bad news yet. There's no reason to worry about it until there's bad news. You, you worry about everything else. Then we'll deal with it. Drone has located a you're bomb. You're gonna be okay. We'll deal with it. Tell her everything's gonna be okay. Like, yeah, she's stressed no out shot. about. She has to have a CT scan. Yeah, she's so stressed. What the fuck? What the fuck are these people saying about UAV's wife? There's somebody underneath you, Skate. What's wrong with Kelly? Um. Kelly had an ultrasound, and they found something on it, and she's going to get a CT scan gun 
CT scan done, and um, there's a chance that her cancer is back. All I'm ready. Right. Ready, set, play. I don't give a fuck about people that want to wish me goodwill. I don't. Because <laughs> goodwill wor is worth nothing. You, I can't take Arian Foster's like love and go in, and go make a house payment with it. I can't. Yay! Some dude I never met, and never will talk to, says he loves me. Fuck! For, who gives a shit? Like honestly, <laughs> <laughs> it's weird how much of a session Kyle has with you. You seem to be the. the I don't. I don't even bother looking at a sourdough room. I don't even bother looking at it. I did, I honestly think Kyle misses me. <laughs> I do too. Aww. The fact the real factor in here is Chiz. Like <clears throat> every time those guys miss me, Chiz will be like, You're you're a battered housewife or some shit like that. I object to the troll channel thing, right? Like one thing Wings of Redemption did to me is he lied about some charity that I had done. I, I, I did this thing a long time ago called King of the Web. There was $7,000. Uh, I won, and I donated 100% of it to charity. And then, and by the way, like, I, like in real time, I, like, I put the check in an envelope, mailed it on camera. Like, yeah. I, I did it. I, I got, like, shirts and thank you letters from them. It, it was real. Wings of Redemption told this guy, Holiday Doc, that it wasn't real that it was all a scam to make money, that I was keeping it. Um, I made a video saying, hey, vote for me on King of the Web. I'll put the money towards uh, this charity to write love on our arms. And uh, uh, Wing said I made more money off of that video than the 7000 I would have made from King of the Web. As if I make like $8,000 a video? That's outrageous. Was that a, right? was that a 15 million view video? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, it, was, it, was, it, it was just all untrue. It was a lie. That's a troll. Right? When people talk shit about you and make things up... And, and doesn't want to come. And exhibit A in the, like, at his core, like, bravery is just not an attribute that he has. And so that was the downfall of Wings on the show. That was the straw that broke the camel's back, I believe. Um, like, he was also showing up late for shows, right? Like, like we, we scheduled... Have different ones. I, I think for Kyle, bailing on the survival trip was... A really big offense. It was. For me, I didn't like it, but I could almost take it or leave it. It was like, all right, Wings isn't here. The survival trip, I felt like just got a little easier. I didn't expect him to pull his well, weight. That's funny. I expected, well, true, for sure. Yeah, yeah. No, I wish he was there, but there was at least a little part of me that was like, but, well, now I don't have to find like one and a half. We were going to, like, he was going to do less than his share. So it wasn't like a talked about who said he was going to anally rape my wife. I, I, I had harbored other things. Like, like remember the guy we talked about who said he was going to anally rape my wife and daughter and compared my son to shit? Wings gave him money. We, oh, like, oh, oh, is this the... Um, oh, okay, let me, let me read this out before you go into the story. Maybe you, <laughs> maybe you can tell me if this is accurate or not. Um, because, like I said, there's information posted everywhere, and I don't know what's real or not. Uh, it's a, and this was, I believe, from 2014 or 2015. Earlier this year, it was revealed that he worked as a double agent helping a YouTube troll attack a 10-year-old autistic son of one of his friends. Is he? Is that talking about you? Is that, that sounds like it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, yeah. So, so this guy, the, the one that you know challenged me to fight him and we organized mm -hmm. it, uh, he also would like, he'd be like, give me money. I want to go to Europe or I want to do this or I want a car. I don't know what he wanted money for. And Wings donated to him. And I felt like that, like for me, that was a real betrayal, right? This is a guy who doesn't just attack me, he attacks my wife and my children. Wait, no, say, say, I'm sorry, say that again. So the guy that's screwing with you and your family, he gave him money? Yes. Yeah, via PayPal. Why? He, because this dude that was attacking Woody's family, uh, obviously Jesus, his, his channel was named. He also, like, as like a, a different thing not related to Woody was like, oh, I really, you know, I'm feeling depressed and I'm all, you know, in a bad headspace. It would, I would feel really way better if I could go on like a three week, no thinking about anything European vacation. So donate to my European vacation. Oh, also, I need a new gaming PC. That would really pull me out of this funk. And so that's basically what he was doing, e-begging for No, no, that makes, that makes no fucking sense. You guys were doing a show together at the time, yeah? We were friends. Yep. You're friends with him, and you're doing a show together, and the guy that's fucking with you, he gives him money. 
Yeah, that's not the yes. only one. You know, yeah. There was another guy. His name was Thunder Toro, and uh, Thunder's channel is doing well at this point. But he hates me. He hates me. I think because he was a better gamer than me, but I was more successful on YouTube. And I think that's the core of it. Like I never talked to him or anything. And uh, he uploaded a video where his friend said that my son was a fucking faggot that jerked off dogs. And uh, and I didn't like it, you know. So I uploaded a response. Oh, yeah, it's understandable. <laughs> and I gave that comment that. two thumbs down. Yeah. <laughs> Wings, on the other hand, was giving him like search engine optimization optimization advice and and like how to grow his channel. And he was doing really well. And Wings took some credit. Oh, but you know what? Fuck, fuck this guy then. How is he going to cry about compilation videos and be like the trolls are coming to get me when he's funding people that are fucking with you? That's that. Exactly. You know what? We're of the no same pay, mind no, on this no, one. No fucking pity. Fuck yeah. yeah, yeah. And Wings was like, Woody, I feel like you're making me choose between you and him. And I was like, I am. That was the day I decided not to fix his desk. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that was it. That was the. I, you, you, you're way too nice, man. I, I'm surprised you didn't just kick his we're ass. We're nice curve people. Again. Yeah. Wow. I, so Wings had this guy who was totally underqualified, and he gave him like thousands of dollars to make a desk. And the core of it is the guy messed up the epoxy job. So I was like, stick the thing on a trailer, bring it to my house, I will fix it for you. I will sand it down, I'll finish it properly, I'll get it all done. Woodworking is something that I'm good at. And, uh, and we were all, it fell through, I guess, or got delayed because Wings insisted on bringing these felons over to my house. Like, I, I guess he has these friends with felony convictions. But he, <laughs> what the fuck is yeah, this guy? But, right? <laughs> right? And I've got, like, kids and, sure. like, a girl and a boy in grade school at this point, and, and he just wants to bring the felons over. And I'm like, no, 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 let, let, let's, how about it's just you? But, like I said, Wings doesn't really leave town, so he didn't want to drive a few hours without, you know, I don't know, some muscle. I'm not sure why he was so insistent. I don't insistent. think the felons should be leaving town. Muscle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he, he just like, But we've got to keep this on the down low. They're not technically allowed to leave yeah. South. <laughs> <laughs> so uh um and yeah the night that like it all went down and he's like i feel like i have to choose between you and thunder you know i want to give him help growing his channel while he attacks your family and i was like fuck it fuck you you can let thunder fix your desk and that's how the desk thing fell through can, yep. can, can i ask you a question in real life i really do i would beat your fucking teeth in you you wouldn't have a... i would beat your fucking teeth in dude i really would don't threaten, man. Come on. You don't doubt that. What are you going to do to me? What are you going to do to me? What are you going to do? Put your bitch ass in the kneecap. That's what I'd do. Oh, I'd incapacitate you, and then I'd beat you with the fucking pistol grip until your teeth fell out your head. I hate you. <laughs> but I, I actually do care about how other people feel in real life. Like, I, I take into account my position, their position, and how things work out. Yeah, whatever. I hope your family dies in an automobile wreck. What? Soon became clear that he had counterattacked Keemstar with similar vigor by weaponizing his viewer base. Hey, DJ Keemstar, DJ Keemstar. Have you ever thought that everything I do is behind the scenes because I'm not doing anything? Uh, I don't know. I don't I don't believe that. I've seen a conversation with you and Two Box on Skype, and I, in the end, Two bucks and and, and that conversation was me asking two bucks to talk to you to get you to stop, you know, spamming my channel. Oh, you're threatening him that you're going to sue us, you're going to do this, you're going to do that, you're saying jail time. You're saying because he, he was putting up he was putting up one of those fronts just like everybody else, and it was, it was more of a scare tactic. But see, that's behind the scenes kind of stuff. This last round was caused by a comment that Wings wrote. Uh, he said, and, and I believe this is the correct quote, Nick, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've already killed FAG. I, I don't understand why you wrote that comment. Because our channel has been under attack. There's false copyright complaints on it to the point that it's suspended until YouTube reviews it. And now we have someone that's taking credit for killing our channel. I, I don't understand why you wrote that. You, you should have seen that was going to come anyway. You attacked a channel that was four times your size. I mean... Well, we have 62,000 subscribers. I believe you have nine. I have... I have 100,000 subscribers, and I'll also have 120,000 podcast viewers that don't even look at YouTube. Any thoughts on our uh, discussion here, Wings? Yeah, I'll see you But this apparently wasn't justice enough for Jordy. Immediately following the stream, and after asking if they had privacy, Jordy had one last threat to pose to Keemstar, one far beyond what either had levied against one another so far.
that's why I, you don't get no love from Jordy because like I've worked for Keem Star two on multiple things, and every and I've seen how terrible of a person he could be. I'm dead serious. Like if somebody deserved to die on this planet, Daniel King would be one of them. I'm not. That's not. That's dead serious. Like if if you wanted to do Sharia law, Daniel Keem should be one of the first people to die and have his hands chopped off. He's a despicable person, and that is word word to your mother truth right there. Wings first blade. No, I'll box Wings. He uh, said on his stream that I should die. Um, and basically that's like a death threat. He didn't really say you should die. He said if there was Sharia law, you should be the first No, he die. said I should die multiple <laughs> times. And then he said the Sharia law thing. What is Sharia law? Some I, Muslim thing. I think it's when, um... It's, yeah, it's something. I told Wings on Twitter today, I said if he... He's got two options. He can either apologize to me, or he doesn't have to apologize to me. He can just debate me. And if he doesn't debate me or apologize, then, um, yeah, I'm going to report him to Twitch. Because he basically put out a death threat. So at the very end of their hashing it out, which seems to be going very positively, Wings is like, I just want to check on a few things. Keem, um... Do you still live at 17th Street over in blah, blah, blah? And he's like, um, what, what are you doing? Is your girlfriend's name still Maurice? Um, wh wh where, where are you going with this? And he starts like laying out all the, he's like, oh, no, no. I'm just trying to sh make sure my information's correct. And Wings is sort of basically laying out to Keem that he has researched him and he's ready to quote unquote, pull the trigger on a hit of some kind. Did we stop recording now? Yeah, we're done. All right. Well, I got you, DJ King. So I to run some stuff by you. Is your PO box one forty eight Holland? That's Zero? correct. That's correct. Is your street address now? York fourteen oh eight oh nine. That's incorrect. That's incorrect. Right. I it... don't. I don't give my my personal where I live at. I don't give that out. I'm... Is your girlfriend named Melissa or? Yes, she is. Is her phone number 71663? Okay, can I ask you why you're trying to get my personal information? Well, I'm just I'm just I'm just trying to see how much of this is correct because I I gave some of this information to Fisticuffs. You gave you gave my personal information to Fisticuffs? Yep. Okay, so should I find out what trailer park you live in and announce that to the world? I don't live in a trailer park, my man. <laughs> wait, wait, so what, 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 was the motive, what was the motivation behind this action? Uh, this is, um, well, basically, I did some digging, and I tried to find everything I could find out about him in case he actually did drop my YouTube channel. I'm just letting like, him know that. I'm just letting him know it's out there, and uh, that dude, way he won't be surprised. Do you know how many people, do you know, you know how many people threaten me a day? It's like, I, I know that you're a bully and that you get off on bullying people. But, like, I'm one person that is just going to constantly have that middle finger in the air. It's never going to go down. It's always going to be, fuck you. No one is ever going to fucking talk me into submission or anything. So, whatever you're trying to do, just stop now. Because the middle no, finger is right anything. here. I'm letting you know that I'm I did give away from your I'm not intimidated in any way. I'm not trying to intimidate yes, you. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Trying to say my girlfriend's name. I'm trying to say no. where I live, what no. my P.O. box is. I just want you to know, it's always up, dude. My, the bird is flying right now. Like, I, I'm not backing down. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm, I'm gonna... I, if, 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 if I had my way, and I could will it, I wish he would get in a car wreck. I literally do. I wish... He's the only person I could think of right now I wish would literally die. Dude, people that watch those hate channels have something wrong with them. They really do. I hope your parents get in a car wreck. Alright, so I get on a podcast show and I'm like, where the fuck is Wings? Wings fuck. is sleeping, his sleep schedule is fucked up. To be honest, I'm going to call out Wings, I called it out, him out on the pre-show. My, my sleep schedule is fucked up too, Wings, I'm, I'm here, alright? Now, his sleep schedule might be a little bit more fucked up. Like, where's Wings? Like, I would love to be on the podcast show, and the main reason why I'm going there is because I wanted to be there on Wings. Because, like, the eight or nine times that I was on Painkill already, half the fun was me arguing with Wings. You know what I mean? I feel like I represent normal people, and Wings is a fucking moron. Okay? And this dude said he was sleeping. 
Now, right there, right there, I thought that was a little weird, dude. I thought that was a little weird, because Wings will talk a lot of shit, but when you confront him, he's scared to death. He's a little bitch about it, right? Me, stream, okay? And it's me saying um, some outlandish shit. Some outlandish shit saying that I will hang black people in their yards if you don't donate for shots. Okay? Completely outlandish. Okay? No spelling errors. I know that shit's on Reddit now. And that shit was photoshopped to fuck. Anybody could see that. Okay? No one contacted me. No one was like, fuck you racist and tweet, tweeted at me or anything. No one said anything to me, right? So I didn't know about it. Because it's literally a Photoshop thing, okay? This fucking monkey mouth bitch. This fat piece of shit goes on his podcast that I was on the previous week that he didn't want to show up for. I don't care what you say. I don't give a fuck if you say he slept in or whatever. It's rather convenient that he doesn't show up when I show up to his own podcast, but whatever. This dude, within the first minute, decides to throw fucking... Um, this dude decides to throw salt on my, on my name and say, why did you let that racist piece of shit on the show? Speaking of Extra Dark, I want to make I want to call something out. I missed the show last week because my sleep schedule was ruined. Time to rule. How did you guys replace me with only use me blade? <laughs> what do you mean, how or why? Or, or why? Just because it was like we, we made a very quick decision, like whether we were going to do the show or not. And White Boy was like, I can get, I can I get have, Blade. I have, we went. No problem with Blade as a person, but I have a problem with the fact that he's a, a raging racist. Like, he, he, he had another racist rant, like, right before you guys had him on. After that? After that, after the the drunken one, he's had another one. Oh, I didn't hear about this. Are you sure it's not just a re like hashing of it? Like mm -hmm. live stream fails this is, to post. This was this oh. was on the uh, he's actually in his chat on Stream Me. Like he was he was streaming on Stream Me, and uh, God, you can find the screenshot. It's floating around there, and he, he said something about uh, something like you fucking diggers better donate or something like that. I didn't know that happened either. But to be fair, like he did, like on the show that he was on, he did have like a, a black friend come over. Like he's obviously friends like with black people and stuff. Like it, it's, do you really think they could be like homies if he was like seriously a racist? What did I, you look at? I got the link. I put the link in the in the. Uh, in did the, he type it or did he have someone over with him? Uh, it, I him. can't tell you this, but it has his icon, his username. But oh, didn't he say like he had he had problems with the guy who was in his flat who fucked up his stream? I was like, man, like how the hell did they put Blade on here? I'm like, I'm like, job. I gave him a pass on the first, and he was drunk out of his butt. He might not have meant it, but like you don't go to you don't go double dipping like this. This is an image though. If it was a video, I feel yeah, different. Yeah, like this is could be Photoshop. Like I could do this. I think I can confirm that's real. I mean, like I mean, like you got his own subscribers saying Wild Blade and stuff like that. See the little hatchets. Yeah, I, I know multi kills. He, probably, I'm sure he would have told me. I'm, I'm oh. gonna tweet at the Blade. I mean, I, I don't know. I was like, damn, they replaced me with Blade after the racist shit hit again? But we didn't know. Like, and he didn't... No one in the chat mentioned it. That's, that's what makes me think... I don't know. Like, that, if this had happened again, like, surely someone who was in his stream... Like, his fans watch our show. Like, the people there in his stream right. come in, like, come Total to watch... Sickness. Yeah, I thought they would have mentioned it, surely. Yeah, right now. I don't know. It's, it's on live stream fellas. It's got, like, a thousand up likes or some shit like that. Now, what I'm happy about is this. What I'm happy about is this. Yeah, I... Surely. Job was he said it shit like that now what I'm happy about is this what I'm happy about is this I didn't find out about this until four days after the show okay now if someone important someone worthwhile in our community were to say some shit on white boys channel which has like two and a half million subscribers if someone of importance with that much reach would have said that shit, I would have known in 30 seconds of that happening. You know how I found out about it? Fucking Scrapla watched the show four days, four days later. And then this dude 
um, this dude hit me up in the DMs, was like, hey, bro, they're, 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 they're talking crazy about you over on uh, the, the podcast show. I was like, all right, well, let me know when they say something about me. Because a lot of times when people say, hey, they said they talked about you on the podcast show, they talked about on Pinky already, I got to fucking search. And so I was like, when it happened? He's like, right at the start. You don't even have to do his timestamp anything. So I go, I listen. I was like, this fucking fool. I was like, what did I do to this dude? Because I, because first off, I, I'm not an assaulted person, but I would destroy links. Verbally, emotionally, whatever, dude. Like, literally, I was... We had a fucking an on-air live stream where this dude was on the verge of killing himself, and I felt this power. I was like, dude, I really could just crack on this dude, and he could probably kill himself on-air. Like, that's how weak-minded and, and silly, silly little bitch this guy is, right? So anyways, obviously I'm not going to do that. Um, so what do I do? What do I do? I contact... I contact White Boy, and I contact... Um, What's his name? Uh, Jive. And I was like, hey man, I don't publicly do this stuff. And I know it's not hypocritical because I'm publicly doing this stuff, but it doesn't matter. Fuck him. Um, but I don't publicly do this stuff. Have you ever seen me go back and forth on the interwebs, drama and all that dumb shit? Um, anyway. So, I, can't, I DM White Boy and I DM, uh, what's his name? A Jive. And I'm like, hey man, this dude, I'm telling a story too, Drew, I'm sorry. Um, and I'm like, this dude is talking crazy, uh, can I please have, can you set up something where I'm in a Skype conversation with him, no cameras, no internet, no nothing, I just want to fucking talk to this dude, because I'm not trying to, what I'm about to say to him, or discuss, or figure out, let's talk to let's talk to him, like, I'm still giving the benefit of the doubt that this guy is a man, okay, so let's talk about it privately, figure out what your issue is, uh, and go our separate ways, but let's discuss it, let's discuss it in the DMs, let's discuss it in the phone call or Skype, okay, this dude, will, this dude refused to get a Skype call, refused to get a fucking phone call, nothing, and then this motherfucking white boy was like, he tweets out some shit saying that I 1v1 him on Bog on COD 4. I don't want to fucking do that. I don't care. That's, that's the nerdiest shit in the world, dude. Like, I was like, if I'm able to talk to this dude, fine. I'll fucking go in Bog and I'll stand still. And I'll fucking talk to this dude, right? Um, but I'm like, I'm not trying to, like, capitalize or get views or whatever. This isn't the great Wings Blade debate. No one gives a fuck. But I was like, if I can talk to this dude that way, I'll talk to this dude that way. But I realized, I'm like, ah, no. Let's not do that. Because we've already established that Wings is irrelevant as fuck. Wings is irrelevant as fuck, dude. So there's nothing I'm going to benefit from talking to him. And I'm like, you know what? This dude's just a fat piece of shit. That's all it is. That's all it is, okay? Um, this dude couldn't get on a fucking airplane. Like, I'm, I'm not making this shit up, dude. This dude was on an airplane, taking up so much of a fucking um, seat that the guy that was supposed to sit next to him was a business traveler, and he's like, uh, I'll catch the next one. Otherwise, this dude can get on an airplane. You ever heard about wins at events? He doesn't go to events. The one event that he went to was Billionaire's Challenge, and that's the only time he's traveled. When you're so big that you can't get on a fucking airplane, but you're so small that you can't get in a Skype conversation, what the fuck's wrong with you, dude? <laughs> that was well said. Right? That's why you're so small you can't get in a Skype conversation. Wait, I, 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 can fly, I can fly an airplane, though. Fumlin. The workout was one of the most horrible ordeals of my life. <laughs> that month was one of the worst months of my life because Wings lives within his own bubble. He doesn't socialize, and so he doesn't curtail himself to social norms. Right away, myself, my roommate Kitty, and my girlfriend were in my kitchen. And the bathroom is visible from the kitchen. I'm a house for him. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That's, that's remarkable. Uh, and and, and I've never, I don't know if I've ever said this, but the first night he broke the bed in, in, in the room. It wasn't a bed, to be fair. It was a futon because it was a guest bedroom. And I had never had a guest in there before. And so there was a futon, you know, a, a couch that folds out into a bed. Mm -hmm. And I had slept on it once before. Like, I, I, I was like, ah, let's break this in. And I fucked my girlfriend on it. And it wasn't bad. It was pretty comfy. He broke it immediately. It was a $400 futon. And so I w also went out and bought him a new a bed and box springs to sleep on during the dur duration. That was probably another five or $5, six hundred dollars a month of time, a bed. Yeah. Like, you definitely did a lot. Uh, I, I, I'm not, this isn't about me, but, but, but we did a lot for him, and, and, and uh, he was very ungrateful uh, in, in the end, I suppose. Living with him was a nightmare, though. He played, he played music all night. He brought his own speakers with him instead of headphones, <laughs> and he, had, uh, he played really high bass music, like thumping. This doom, 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 was he doom. trying to get you to kick him out so he didn't have to lose the weight? This Do you think that was like a one. plan? This was night one. When the no, no, yeah, do, you, do you think it was a plan? Like, if I'm really obnoxious with the music, they'll be like, you got to go, man. You gotta, I had you, no social awareness. He, he had no idea he was, he was offending me. And, and I'm so the opposite direction where I'm, I'm really considerate of people's feelings. 
mm-hmm. I was just like, I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna say anything. I'm just gonna move to one of the other bedrooms in the house. Like it's a, it was a two floor house, and like my basement was finished and had two bedrooms in it. And so there was only one moderator in the chat uh, for about sixty people. One's okay. Two, two obviously would be better. Uh, but then I started really paying attention and reading the messages. And someone said, Merry Christmas, he got banned. So I asked the moderator, like, what was wrong with that? Why, why are you banning someone saying Merry Christmas? The moderator said, um, he told me that uh, we can't wish anyone or Wings a happy holiday or say Merry Christmas. He said, the MC is banned, which is Merry Christmas. So I was like, what? You know, I was just in a chat with a bunch of people telling each other Merry Christmas, and I come here, and I'm not allowed to say Merry Christmas. Like, I have no freedom of speech. And and these people that were saying Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays were getting Insta-banned. No warning, nothing. You know, it was just you have to know or somehow guess that if you come in here and the first thing you say is, Hello, Merry Christmas, I hope you're well, uh, you're going to get banned for that? Are you serious? That's really, that's a, that's an offense, like, that's something worth a ban. Um, so anyways, I, I told the mod, I was like, alright, well, if that's the case, I'm sorry, I can't support this, and I have to leave. And I stopped talking in chat, but I kept watching. Um, why? Because I wanted to see really what was going down. So I paid a really close uh, attention to the chat. And about 10 minutes later, after seeing maybe 5 to 10 people get banned or timed out, Woody's Gamertag joined, which if you guys follow PKA PKA and uh, Wings' channel and stuff like that, you know they're close friends. And the first message from Woody was was something along the lines of, Hello, Merry Christmas, Wings. I I heard that you were playing Dead Space 3 and people said you were uh, better than me or or something like that. Um, And Woody didn't get banned for saying Merry Christmas. So that's very hypocritical. The mods didn't ban Woody for saying Merry Christmas. I mean, we're not allowed to say it, but Woody, you know, because he is a friend of Wings or whatnot, he's he's allowed to do it. I don't think that's fair. I think that's very hypocritical of him. Um, and then some other Twitch streamer, uh, it was a female streamer, I, I can't recall her name, and I, I don't want to share it just for reasons anyways. I, I took a couple screenshots for the proof that they were banning on the Merry Christmas messages, uh, by the way, which I won't show, but I have in case um, anyone wants to challenge me or anything, I, I have it. That's, but that's not what I'm trying to do here. I just, I'm really talking about my feelings. But yes, this other streamer, which had something like three or 4,000 followers, uh, went in there and wished Wings in the chat a Merry Christmas, and she got banned. And then some people were like, oh, dude, She's a she's a big streamer. You should unban her. Um, and then the mod was just like, I'm doing as I told. Wings said that anyone who gets in here and, and wishes people a Merry Christmas gets banned. Uh, commentator, uh, a fellow YouTube commentator, and so on and so forth. I was really disappointed. And uh, back to the assisted suicide thing and being involved with that, all the team captains, uh, especially Woody's gamer tag and and Wings. Woody, I've watched your videos for over a year. I'm a father just like you. I have a son that had open heart surgery when he was little. And I really connected with you when you talked about your son with his disability. And I've also watched your videos where you give you gave a kid advice, life advice that was suicidal. I've watched you be a face for the community. And, <laughs> man, to be involved... In something or somebody or a company or entity that's that's that fucking hard up to get money or views. You guys talk about view whores. Um, the guy you're involved with right now is the biggest view whore of all, in my mind. Uh, to to live stream an assisted suicide. And I know you're saying, well, we're not involved in that. We're doing battle cam, but you are. You're involved with him. And Wings, I've ne- I, there's a lot of stuff I don't see eye to eye on with you. And I'm not trolling and I'm not hating. I'm being honest with you. But I had mad respect when you helped out that girl. And you did the videos and raised money for her. And you guys are faces of the community. You are in the public eye. And with that comes a price. Especially for the viewer base you have of younger kids. You guys, <laughs> you have responsibilities. And... 
to be involved in something like this, uh, something doesn't feel right about it to me. It, something's wrong with it. Something's off. Uh, 